Okay, can we talk about something that's actually been kind of bothering me now? Because um, I kind of have a bone to pickle with you guys. And yeah, that's right. I said pickle. Have you ever been in a situation where your mind truly has been blown? I'm not saying like, oh, my mind's been blown because that's like a really cool thing to say nowadays. But like, honestly, you had thought something was the way that it was for so long that when you discover that it's not that way, that your mind is truly blown and you can't get out of your head for like the longest time because you can't truly believe that for as long as you've lived, um, it's been a certain way, right? Um, I'll, I'll get to my point here in a second. Um, when I was in my 20s something, just bear with me a second while we tell a little story. When I was in my 20s or uh, early 20s about, I learned that there was no such thing as a pickle. Now. I knew that there were pickles, right? I did not know that a pickle was actually a cucumber. I literally thought, up until being 20 years old, that a pickle was actually a type of a fruit or vegetable. Like, people went to the pickle farm and they drove their big trucks into the pickle field and they farmed their pickles and plucked them from the pickle bush or from the pickle plant, or they unburied them as they were growing on the pickle vine. I had no idea. So at 20 years old, I'm on like a tech forum in like the off topic channel and we start talking about this and I tried to defend it. Like, no man, there's pickle trees or bushes or something. And up until then, forever going forward on that tech forum, I was known as Mr. Pickles because of this. And I'm not gonna say that it's somebody else's fault. It's not like my teacher was like, yes, there are pickle bushes. And also, I will say never in my life when, you know, we were in elementary school learning all the fruits and vegetables, I wouldn't be like, oh, there's celery and tomatoes and cucumbers and there's pickles. But I never didn't say that. And so that's what's kind of got me a little freaked out right now because now in 2018, after playing for a while, I have learned in Rocket League that you can change the wheel sets and everything else based on the color of your car. And so I knew that I could essentially change the color of my car, my body color. You know, I had two colors to choose from on both sides. But right now, like right now, I just learned that you can change everything based on which color you are. You can change the wheels, you can change the boost, you can change the explosions. Nobody told me that at all. Everybody has just been building two sets of cars using the same preset and this whole time I've been picking black wheels and neutral colors like uh, boost and everything because I didn't know just up until now that you could just simply change whatever the heck you wanted based on the color of the car. For those of you who don't know and for those of you who really want uh, their mind blown here, if you have been creating like say one really cool red car but then just knowing that your blue car is not going to be good, uh, then this is going to be a treat for you. I had no idea. So if, if you go to my two colors, right, they're so neutral, it's crazy. And if you look at the difference that I have, they are so just normal cars, right? Like both of them look really good because I didn't know you could change the topper. I didn't know that you could change the wheels. And I didn't know that if you hopped into here, you could make your blue car could be the Lucy's or the Falco's for the blue car and the orange could be the formats. All you have to do is pull the trigger on both of those and you could see what it would look like for both of them. Nobody told me this. You know, I really don't blame myself for this. I kind of blame the Rocket League community for not making this clearer. I also blame Psyonix for not making the options bigger and more available. And I'm not gonna say I've always had a microphone in front of me, but that bottom left corner isn't all that noticeable. This has just been an incredible day. You know, I feel like I just went back in time. I feel like I am now in some sort of a state of remission and now everybody is just going to call me Mr. Pickles again. I got to go. I have a lot of thinking to do about this. This is this is mind blowing to me, but I, I now I can I can break out of my bland cars 
and I can actually do something that's a little different. I don't think I will, because I don't really like cars. I'm just, you know, I'm... Uh, I, this is just too overwhelming. It's just all the bad memories of being called Mr. Pickles are just rushing back into my mind. I gotta go. Look, I now know why people um, on Twitter or people um, on YouTube say that they have a new video that's about to drop so get excited for it because I am excited for my next video that's coming up it's a big one and I figured I would uh, stay say hello I still exist here I promise I'm not going anywhere I have a lot of fun doing this but I learned a lot um, in photo editing and in content creation that I think is gonna really help um, especially with this new video that's coming out so I hope I can get faster and I hope I can put out some more content a little quicker for you guys so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and by all means if you didn't know that a pickle is a cucumber, it's perfectly fine, man. There are other people who are out there who also have just as much trouble. Cheers, guys.